Well, we're on a boat. Where are we heading? We're going to Mackinac Island. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's right. Come along with us today as we go explore all of Mackinac. Well, as much as we can get in in one day. And all the dog friendly spots. <laughs> we got my bike in, on board down here. We're, once we get to the island, we're going to rent Allison a scooter so we should be able to see a good portion of the island today. Come on. Hello and welcome back. If it's your first time here, I'm Scott. And I'm Allison. And we are Jarhead, Jarhead and Ginger's, Ginger's Journey. Journey. We're full-time RVers. We do destination videos, tips and tricks, and all things RV. If that sounds like something you'd like, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and come along on our journeys. Chapler's Ferry is $30 per person for adults. It departs from St. Ignace and Mackinac City for a short ride to the island. It is dog friendly on the upper deck. Well, as you saw, we made it to Mackinac Island. Your first impression? Well, the boat was really windy. Um, if we could have sat inside, I would, but no pets allowed in the inside. Um, it's very crowded. We're here on a Wednesday, and somebody, I think it was uh, Harold Strange from One Strange Adventure said it's like uh, Main Street in Disneyland or something like that. It is, it's very Disney-ish. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit crowded coming off the boat, but that's obviously to be expected. Um, like she said, the boat ride was cold. Believe it or not, it's uh, early July, and uh, I was shivering on the way over. Um, but my first impression was a very packed street and the smell of horses, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> but so far, so good. We're going to uh, continue around, obviously, and bring you with us. Let's go. We didn't have time for lunch before we went on our carriage ride, so we stopped here at Moomer's. They had some pretty good looking baked goods, but we got ice cream. That peanut butter chocolate was amazing. We're going to take you on the Mackinac Island carriage tour. Tickets are $36 for adults. And you'll see some highlights of the island by a narrated horse-drawn carriage. The driver will tell you some history and some great information about the island. The tour lasts about an hour and 45 minutes. There's a stop at the Surrey Hills Museum where you can spend time exploring the area before boarding for the rest of the tour. This is the old stables for the island. This is the Grand Hotel. If you look at the covered porch, you'll notice it's painted the same color as the sky. They say that's to keep birds from nesting on there. You can also pay $10 to go inside the hotel and check it out. You can see that the carriage ride is dog friendly. We just finished the first part of our carriage ride. They took us through the town, told us some very interesting history. So far, I think it's been worth it. We're stopped here for a little break, as long as we want um, to explore. There's a forge and stables and... The butterfly house is over there. And there's also a little place for some food. 
pretty cool up here. Uh, we did we passed the uh, Grand Hotel on the way, and we're basically, I guess, at the top of the hill uh, toward the middle of the island right now. Um, like she said, it was uh, pretty informative, and uh, we had a good time. And on the way up, we kept noticing empty horse carriages going down, and we just found out why. So they bring you up to the stop here, and then once you're ready to go to the other part of the tour, you get onto a uh, carriage with three horses, and it's a lot bigger um, carriage. So we're going to explore this and then hop on that whenever we're ready. Stick around. We're going to show you the rest soon. She will run in circles usually. She'll run round and round in circles and lunging like a horse. We hear that there are two other Chinese crests on the island today. Somebody that stopped has told us about it. So hopefully we'll get to meet them today as well. She loves her zoomies and her sticks. <laughs> she wasn't too crazy about the horses though. She's a little scared of them. <laughs> now we're on the big carriage for the rest of the tour just look at those big horses remember them we lower the flag to half staff daily under presidential decree that's the flag for the unknown soldier right there one of five in the world we're on the second stop on our horse drawn cart tour and we're here at arch rock Look at how beautiful that water is down there. This is Fort Mackinac. This was our last stop on our carriage ride. We got off here. We didn't have time to go in and explore it on this trip. We will have to go back for sure. We just got done with our horse carriage ride. They dropped us off right up at the top of this little hill here, and it's a three minute walk back down to Main Street. What'd you think? I really, I'm glad that we did the horse ride. I, we thought about not doing it, but I enjoyed it. We had a great guide uh, from Romania for the first <laughs> carriage, and then the second carriage, we had uh, a guy give us some interesting stories, even when he made up <laughs> about the hole in the rock. So um, I, I'm glad we did it. I think it was worth it. I am too. Uh, we, it, like we said earlier, it's two parts. You take one part from downtown up uh, to near the stables, then you get on another one and it takes you through the uh, state park area, all wooded and very cool. And you get a chance to see the um, Arch Rock. Arch Rock was a little packed, but again, um, that's probably to be expected this time of year, especially since we are here in July. And a word of advice, do not wear any open-toed shoes Ooh. or shoes that are like, I have vented tennis shoes, and I stepped down into, off of the carriage into what I thought was some mud. Uh, what no. mud? It was poo. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd wear rubber boots, I think. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> wear what you want, but I'm not wearing these shoes again. <laughs> We're here at the Great Turtle Brewery and Distillery for lunch, dinner, whatever it is. Our only meal of the day, pretty much. <laughs> and let me tell you, Xanadu is exhausted. As soon as we got out the bougie bag, she went to sleep. Um, but she keeps waking up because there's lots going on. But we were so hungry that we didn't film. Sorry, guys, but um, we <laughs> shared some boneless wings and fries. And um, what did you get to drink? I got a Big Aft IPA. I hope you heard that right. Big Aft <laughs> IPA. It was very good. It was. It's actually locally brewed. Uh, and you know me, I like to drink local uh, whenever I can. And it was very good. And I got a blue fruity whiskey drink called Lost in Mackinac. Lost on Mackinac. And it was yummy. It tasted like lemonade. <laughs> we only had a few hours to explore Mackinac Island today. We hope to go back because there's so much more to see and do. We'd really like to bike around the island and maybe stay a night or two at the Grand Hotel.
Hey, I'm Kyle. I'm Ryan. We're KR Destinations, and catch us next time on Jarhead and Ginger's Journey. Woohoo!